long ago, the prospect of attacking Technomancers from Aurora seemed logical. But now, I think that poses an interesting alternative. Perhaps we ought to try a sympathy, find common ground with which to work. Maybe it will save us from a lot of guilt and bloodshed. <sighs> halt! Don't move! What are you doing? In case you haven't heard, there's been a truce and a peace treaty is being negotiated. Death to Aurora! For the good of abundance!
death to the humans! Kane avenges us! this lock. I need a key. Isaac. this lock. I need a key. Can't do this.
Hey, Mr. Manson, please? What's going on? Well, my name is Marco, and I'm in charge of the network of wind turbines in Noctis. Nice to meet you, but I don't really know why you're reaching out to me. Well, I know that you've helped our prince, and I thought, I have a big problem. We're dealing with a series of robberies like we've never experienced before. Many wind turbines have been taken apart, and their components have disappeared. Without this source of energy, the city could disappear. The water, the electricity we use, everything comes from the wind turbines. You want me to find the thieves? Well, yes. I was told that a mutant thief had in his inventory parts that seemed to come from our facilities. If you could interrogate him... Why don't you do it yourself? That's because he's a thief. Not really the nicest kind of individual, you see. And there are probably more people behind all this. Please? Fine. I'll see what I can do. Tell me, these wind turbine parts that I see, where did you find them? I... I can't remember, dude. Probably somewhere. That's for sure. Sorry. Listen, you must know that the city relies on those wind turbines. By taking them apart, you put everybody in jeopardy. I know you're not like that. I can see it. It's not you who was managing the trafficking. Tell me who's behind all this. All right. I'm just small potatoes, you know? Dudes behind this, though, don't fuck around. I didn't know that when I started. Just thought it was a no-sweat way to make a little serum behind Dandola's back, right? It was bigger than I thought, though, a lot bigger. Guys behind it are not dudes I like dealing with. Got bigger agendas. Not that I know this, but you can sense it, you know? Scary guys. From your corp, I think. The Vori? Yeah, that's right. The Vori, that's them. They're up to something else in the Gate District. You want a world of trouble, man? That's where you can find it. Hey. Hey, can I help you? I'm just gonna cut to the chase. I need some serum. A lot of it. And from what I've heard, there's a way to make it quickly with you. With the turbines. I keep a low profile, and I know how to fight when I have to. Yeah, you look like the tough type. But I don't know you. Never seen what you can do. Don't know if I can trust you. You up for a little challenge to test what you can do? Good. I need you to steal some gear from the site right behind us. You do that, then maybe we'll talk about you joining a gang on a more permanent basis. Watch your ass, though. We've hit the place enough times they started noticing what parts are going missing and have added a lot of guards lately. If you get caught, I don't know you and you don't know me. We clear? Yeah, we're clear.
Here's everything you wanted. Well, it's nice to find someone you can rely on. Look, I'm not the group's leader, so I can't make you a member, but go see the boss. I'm sure he'd be more than happy to bring you in after what you just did for us. And where do I find him? Go to the canyons at night, next to the freight elevator. It's where we usually meet. I know it's not official yet, but good to have you with us. Good to be with you. Thanks. Zachariah. I stole the last parts. Holy! So you're the guy? Damn it! 
I heard how you managed to do it with security all over the place. Damn, well done. Need more guys like you around here. Not pussies. Men with real fucking balls. Work for us, and I can get you a nice cut of the pie. Not interested. And honestly, I only wanted to see if I had the right guy. Y you fucking with me? Fuck, what, Anton sends you? Dude, let me tell you, if he did, fuck him. He's too damn far to do this shit here. All right, look, let me tell you. All right, what we got going on is pretty damn lucrative here. Make a hell of a lot more serum with us than him, you hear me? I'm not working for Anton. And honestly, the way you run a business, I'd be an idiot to work for you. How many times are you gonna hit the same place? Who do you think you're gonna sell your parts to after everyone abandons the city when there's no water or power anymore because of you? Not only am I shutting you down, but just to make sure you've learned the lesson well enough, I'm gonna dance a little. traced it back. Many people stood behind the looter, who isn't even active anymore. The Vori themselves were behind it. Don't worry, they won't steal anymore. Thank you. We're gonna launch a big campaign of repairs. Thank you again. Welcome.
take a look. Good as new. Like she's right off the factory floor. Okay, great. So we can get anywhere we need to go? To the horizon and back if you need to. Zack, I need to talk to you without the others around. Something personal. No problem. Could you leave us alone a minute? Thank you. It's regarding what you found in Ophir, you know? In Scott's lab, my father's mail. I've thought about it, and I figured that we should try to find the kid. Scott's son. Don't you think Scott tried everything to find his son? Besides, he risks reliving something he may not want to experience again. That boy is connected to my father's disappearance, right? That's what that woman said. And look, the mutants have an almost normal life here. Scott didn't know that the city existed before. We could set up something new. What do you think? If we find out what happened to his son, we could not just bring him back here, but also find out what my dad went to do for Scott. I'm almost convinced that he was trying to bring him back his son. All right, I'll look into it. Someone must know where to find the information regarding the new mutants. Thank you, but I don't think Scott should know about all this for now. If something happened to his kid. Anyway, you know? Chasing after your father? No. Well, all right, yeah, but not immediately. First, I'm gonna need to do some investigative work on this kid who became a mutant. You want my advice? Talk to Phobos. He's the kind of man who can give good insights on the child. Zachariah, your help would be indispensable once more. I'm listening. First, I want to thank you for helping me, my mother, and all the mutants. I don't really feel like I helped your mother, but if you say so... Sometimes you have to look beyond appearances. I miss her a lot, but at least she did not suffer, thanks to you. But let's get back to what I wanted to talk about with you. I managed to get in touch with a man who could provide us with military equipment. And we are going to need it because we have to be able to defend ourselves. But that man will never do business with the mutant. That is why I need you to negotiate in my place. If you wanted to look like a merchant from Noctis and go to the meeting point with me, I'm sure that he would agree to sell you the surplus we need so much. Can't help him right now. I gotta finish the stuff I've already started for others. Scott had a son who became a mutant. I'm trying to find him. Would you know by any chance where they could have taken him? A first-generation mutant. He must have suffered a lot, Zachariah. He would have been brutally taken away from his parents and deported very far in another city or an outside complex. It is the protocol, probably to prevent the young mutant from running away with his family. Completely cut off from his relatives in a foreign environment, they will condition him to obey like an animal. I... I'm sorry, Phobos. That's what happened to you, too. Yes. Most of the time, new mutants end their lives where they were conditioned. But in some cases, they get transferred when they are adults. It depends on their workforce needs. It was during one of those transfers that I managed to run away. If your young mutant reached the adult age, it will be very hard to find him. He could be in another center on the run. From what I understand, his son may be my age. It will not be easy, but there is a way to find out at least where he was sent. There are archives in Ophir on all the citizens. You can find who was sent away as well as the location. I do not know if they keep track of the past transfers during the first deportation, but at least that is where you should start looking.
always feel funny seeing the city from a distance. That's because it looks like a big old beetle with its metal shell. Wait for a sandstorm, and you'll get to see the beetle fly. Who wants to stick around for a sandstorm? No? No takers? Ah, home sweet home, as they would say. Though, I'm not sure who they do. Oh, I do hope my clinic is still there. No reason it wouldn't be, Scott. But it's a wily one. My clinic, I swear, it once moved overnight. You were just stinking drunk. I'm getting a bad taste in my mouth. I can almost smell my people's blood and sweat from here. I've been spending my whole life sneaking in and out of this city. Getting sick of it. As long as Vic the Dick is around, he'll be hunting for Zack and we'll have to keep a low profile. But if it bothers you so much, I can drop you off here. I don't want new friends. I'd rather change our destination. Ophir's quite ominous from a distance, like a big black tick hanging above the canyon, sucking the life out of its citizens. Sorry, was that too dark? <laughs> 